All right, so welcome back everyone. So today we're gonna talk about uh, artificial structure, man-made structure, whatever you wanna call it. So we're back here in the back part of my yard here. This is kind of what uh, be my bone yard or lay down yard for all my structure, right? So I kind of gather things up over the course of the year and then mainly during the winter time is where we go and, and set out a lot of structure uh, simply due to less traffic on the lake, you know. It's easy, it's so easy to find structure now. Uh, I just try to give as much advantage as I can um, to having, you know, not being seen. So anyway, you can see behind me, got a, just a just an array of different things here that I kind of gather up and that we use to make structure. Obviously, uh, we're talking more so towards crappie now, but uh, you know, a lot of different fish will hang on this structure. And obviously, certain times of the year, uh, different periods, you know, these fish will tend to prefer a, uh, you know, say like a a plastic structure like those inner duct uh, spider blocks back there or the simple uh, you know your traditional wood structure so we've got here um, you know here's some old bushes that I took from a buddy he was tearing them out of his house so we got those there um, every year I collect uh, you know friends and family their Christmas trees um, so I've got several of those here um, sometimes I'll just let the, the needles set and fall the way off and you'll end up you know with a with a tree you know after about a year or so these were last year's uh that just you know you end up with just a snaggy mess with no lee or no needles on them and then other times i'll sink the the tree with full of needles you know it just kind of depends so obviously got a ton of structure here today we're going to concentrate on those spider blocks back there so i'm going to move the camera around and uh, and show you what i've got going there uh, and then we're going to go out and sink some today in the lake we're sitting here in front of all my spider blocks. All these are eventually going to get uh, set out. I think I've got about 40 here uh, that I made up earlier this summer. These are all going to get strung out. So what these are, this is uh, this is inner duct. This is basically, well, that one's muddy. This is inner duct. Uh, this is essentially what a lot of telecommunication lines are in. You know, your fiber uh, optic lines, your your old school cable lines. This is just, uh, if you guys see the directional boring machines on the side of the road or the big plows, this is what they're putting in. So you can see here, I've got these drops and they're about six, seven foot long. And uh, what'll happen is, as they're making their bores, um, they'll bring that pipe out of the ground before they splice it. And so they'll end up with drops about like that every time. Uh, now you can find these guys and they will just give this stuff to you because they got to throw it away anyway. So I collect this stuff um, over the years and then you know, you can see here, let me uh, let me show you here. So then I go around, um, now I work in the trades, so I have uh, quite availability to, uh, to some, you know, masonry materials. And uh, these are just your standard eight inch blocks, six and eight inch blocks here. Uh, pull some of the grass away. So I just kind of collect those over the summer. Uh, a lot of times you can, you know, at the end of the job, you'll you'll get what's left. Um, but yeah, just take these inner ducts here and uh, I just fill them full of concrete and uh, and then just stick this uh, stick this inner duct in them. And you know, like this spider block here, uh, we've got, you know, seven legs on it. Some of them got eight, you know, whatever. You can just make a nice, uh, nice looking artificial tree that way. So yeah, that ends up making just a real nice artificial tree. These are actually very nice because they'll hold fish and you can't get hung up on them. It's great, uh, you know, unlike a Christmas tree or, a, a, you know, a steak bed or something, you know, where you, you've got the potential to get hung up. So anyway, this is what we're going to set out today. Uh, we're going to go out and I'm going to load the boat up with three or four of these and then, uh, and then we're going to go set them out. I'll show you what they look like. They look pretty cool after you drop them on live scope, but yeah. This is just kind of an array, like I said, uh, we fish tons of reservoirs. We have reservoirs here. We don't have any real natural lakes. So, uh, you know, there a lot of the structure that's out there is stuff that, you know, you put out there. Um, these reservoirs were pretty much just dozed out, cleaned out pretty good before the lake filled. And, uh, you know, a lot of them are big flat bowls. So anyway, any structure we can put to them is definitely an advantage. So we're gonna get the boat hooked up here, load up a couple of these guys, and, uh, and we're gonna go make some, uh, crappie fishing beds for the future. So we've made it out here on the lake and uh, I've made it to the spot where I'm gonna drop these structures. So I've got three structures with me here and you can see just right there, that little bit of a saddle that's created, um, dropping down into 22 feet of water and it's in very close proximity there to 
shallow water as well. So that slope transition, uh, let me switch over. I'm not moving right now, but let me switch over. You can see there's just an odd log or something. There's not a lot of structure here. It's really pretty flat. And uh, obviously we're getting a different reading from the depth of the water because the lake is up. The lake jumped up about almost four feet um, just recently. But you can see right there where the boat's going, uh, that's where we're gonna set. That's where we're gonna set our three structures. We're gonna start them down uh, in probably right there where it's gonna start in about 17 foot of water and we're gonna drop them down to about 20. Um, like I said, the lake is high now, so you're getting a little different reading off of the depth. But uh, yeah, that's a that's a pretty good transition right there. Um, and uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and set three of them out, and then we're gonna check back and see if they're if the fish really come to them. Then we'll definitely put more out. All right, so we kind of only got one shot at this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop them right here off this ledge, or start dropping them. Drop the first one. Try not to splash myself. Too awful much. That water's pretty cold. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move forward just a little bit. I want these in fairly close proximity to each other, but I don't want them touching. And like I said, we're dropping down off the ledge. And I want them kind of in a, uh, oh, kind of in a, a triangular shape pattern is how I want them. So we're dropping down. I'm going to throw one more here, and that'll give me a spread of probably about 20 feet or so with these three structures. Here we go. That's a pretty good set. I'm pretty happy with that. So uh, anyway, now that they're down on the bottom, let's drive by them. I know where they're at, but now we need to mark them with side scan. Okay, so round two. Sorry guys, I had some water spots on the screen from whenever I, uh, from whenever I, uh, let's change over to, okay. So there's full side scan right there. I had some water marks on the screen, so whenever I threw them in. So that's what those big structures look like. Now I'm sitting, I'm running my range at 60 foot out. That's what they look like. You can see, obviously, right there is centered on that cinder block. So I'm going to bring my cursor over and I'm going to hit waypoint. You can see waypoint 2,237 created. That's structure number one. We're going to come over here. Now I don't want to mark the top of this, see, because you remember your side scan is looking sideways. So if you mark this, you'll actually be off. You want to mark the cinder block, that way you'll be over top of it. We're going to hit mark again, waypoint 2238 created. And then we're going to come over here and do the same thing for the third one. Waypoint 2239 created. So that's what your structure looks like, that's the side image view. Of, of what that structure looks like. All right, so there you guys have it. They're setting some structure. Um, it's pretty simple, straightforward, guys. Uh, like I said, now I like to set uh, at least two or three of those spider blocks. You know, I see it seems like you get a lot more pull of fish uh, rather than if you just set one. Um, so we set them in fairly close proximity to each other, you know, probably about a 20 foot circle. Uh, and you know, Right now, being uh, wintertime fishing, you know, we may not catch a ton of fish off of these over the next month, but this spring for sure, as the fish start pushing up, that's where they're really gonna show themselves. Um, and they may not, too, you know, not all structure, just because you put structure in the lake, not all hits, right? So, you just be aware of that. I've got structure that's been in the water in places that I thought was excellent that I've never had fish on them. And I've got some structure that I dumped in some weird places that are just fire spots, right? So anyway, that's a pretty good spot, uh, you know, at least for this reservoir, running down that transition into that deeper water. Uh, that kind of puts you in this happy medium for being able to catch fish, you know, for the most part all year. So anyway, guys, I will try to keep you up to date on 
on this particular piece of structure. Hopefully we can come out here sooner than later and uh, and show you that it works and catch some fish off of it. So hopefully be able to do that. Um, if you guys like this type of video, putting out this structure, if you want to see some more videos on maybe making the stuff, uh, you know, it's pretty straightforward. Definitely leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Um, with that, guys, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get on some spots that uh, that I know have fish on it, previous uh, structure sets, and we're going to go catch some fish and finish out the day. As always, guys, I appreciate you coming along with me. We'll see you guys next time.